John John Dolan, he's an amazing、uh, podcaster. But I think he just gives you the space to tell your story and be really comforting. And he just asks the right questions. I don't know. He's a really good interviewer. But like for me, I felt instantly comfortable. We did shoot it in my own home, so maybe that made me feel genuine. But like, I wanted to tell the conflict of being gay, closeted most of my life, and then coming out as gay and <coughs> excuse me, I get choked up. Being gay and Mormon, you know,、um, it's to me, it's not some story you hear all the time, and it's very complicated and complex, and it's very like now and relevant. Like it's it's a thing that's being affected, you know, by LGBTQ members within. The church, and within a lot of religious organizations, anyway, and they're not making space for them, and so it's a marginalizing. And so for me, being able to just be open and talk about that experience、uh, felt kind of cathartic because I didn't always get to like be that expressive. There's definitely like, I think I used it as an example to talk about how, you know, there's a, a world going on that people don't know about, and I was. Super open about you know most of my 20s being closeted, but still being gay and trying to pray for some sort of like bartering system with God.、Um, it's this really like weird, complex life that I led up until you know about a year ago. So for me now, I, I always figured coming out as gay was going to be like the hardest thing. That that was like the thing that I had to get to, and then oh, life can start. But I think it's been even harder to to discover that the faith that I believed in and that I was raised in doesn't have a space for me, and hasn't been totally forthright with its own like credibility. So like now I feel like all that has inspired this body of work that I'm you know about to unveil.